Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the modulus function and as usual I'll timestamp the different parts of the video below so you can just skip through to whichever part you want to see. And we'll start off with what the modulus function actually is. So if we want to write down the modulus of x, where x is just going to be a number, we write it like this. We write a bar, then an x, and then another bar. Okay. And the way we would read this out is the modulus of x. And you might also hear it called the absolute value of x. But in this video, we're just going to be talking about the modulus of x. Now, this is going to be equal to okay, the value of x itself if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's going to be equal to negative x if x is strictly less than 0. So let's see what this function is actually doing in practice. And so say I want to find the value of the modulus of negative 3. Well, negative 3 is strictly less than 0. And so to the modulus function is going to say, well, take the negative of whatever is in the modulus. So it's going to become negative, negative 3. And this is now going to become positive 3. Okay, so the modulus of negative 3 is just positive 3. Well, the modulus of 2, well, 2 is greater than or equal to 0. And so it just outputs 2. So the modulus of 2 is 2. The modulus of negative 400, well, 400 is strictly less than 0. And so I calculate negative, negative 400. So negative, negative 400. And that's just going to output positive 400. So hopefully you can see the modulus function, okay, is taking any negative value and just turning it positive. And if it's already positive, then it just keeps it as it is. So that's the modulus function. And in the next video, we're going to be taking a look at modulus graphs, okay? And just to give you an idea of what they look like, let's take a look at this example here. So we want to sketch the graph of y equals the absolute value of x, or modulus x. So I've got a little table just over here. So we're going to complete the table and then plot the points. So if I have x equaling negative 3, well, the modulus of negative 3 is positive 3. So we'll write that in. And I'll plot that on the graph. So we've got negative 3 is going to output positive 3. So that's going to be somewhere like here. If I have x equaling negative 2, then my modulus of x is going to output positive 2. So that's going to be a positive 2. And I'll sketch that point on. If I've got x equaling negative 1, it's going to output positive 1. 0 will output 0. 1 will output 1. 2 will output 2. And 3 will output 3. So if I plot all these points on, we get something that's going to look like this. And it's going to be a straight line kind of in a V shape. So let's think what's actually happening. So if I sketch the graph of y equals x, and I'll do this in green, okay, it would look something like this. But you can see that any part of my graph that was below the x-axis, so this part here, was actually reflected in the x-axis and it became positive. Okay, and that's what created that V shape. And so hopefully you can start to think about maybe what's going to happen when we take the modulus of a function well, any negative part is going to be flipped in the x-axis and become positive. So uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share. And go over to my channel for tons more math tutorials. Thanks for watching.